Hi, how are you today? We're inside right now because my car, not my car, my car is without battery, sadly. But this car is charging, which feels like my car because I've been in it practically every day for the past week. I just wanted to check in. I'm about to get down and dirty with editing. I've edited the 17th, the 18th, they're both up now. And then the 19th, 20th, 22, and 23. 23 was yesterday, I didn't really do too much. I don't know what happened on the 21st, but I guess I didn't re record anything. Don't have anything today. I uh, kind of took a personal day. It was a lot of recording for Pine Tree. Wait, wait, like right here, it kind of hurts. I just uh, did my belief plan, yes. Belief plan for my YouTube. It's kind of just my, about my life, really. That's the the thing with that. I don't really know uh, what I know and what I don't know. Anyways, my life coach yesterday sent me this belief plan to put together 10 things that, like if I think of a YouTuber that I admire or how I want to be perceived, like what I think about them. Let me t t say that again. 10 things that I want people to think about me as a YouTuber slash what a YouTube the a YouTuber that I admire what I think about them and jot down these 10 things and then turn them into I statements that's what I did after or right before lunch and then I grabbed lunch I ate I didn't eat I drank vanilla coke all day today basically I just felt like something else I don't know I haven't really drank water in a long time I think that's why I also feel a little bit of palpitations happening because the lack of water as well as I've, I think I've drank, eaten soup, but yeah, the lack of water and also the caffeine and the sugar that I don't usually do. Yeah, but anyways, so I was doing that and I do have, oh, I do have my like Christmas sweater on. It's like really cute. Anyways, to be honest, the way that I'm approaching that doesn't make me too excited. It doesn't make me not excited. It just makes me kind of calm. I'm too calm. I feel too adult about this and when i say too adult about this i feel too in control and one of the things that i was thinking about earlier is when people are in control and they're controlling everything how they say how they appear etc etc they're not trustworthy or they're not that attractive because they're controlled they're not genuine you're not always not genuine when you're controlled but i think a lot of the times we lie to ourselves that we actually are genuine by more controlled we are i know that was grammatically kind of iffy there and i sort of can understand that choosing the right words instead of just blah, 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 vomiting words like i do being more concise rather than just being all over the place discovering that you don't even know what you just said i get that part but i think the more controlled i feel the more concise i feel the less I actually speak from my heart. I don't really want to do that. It doesn't feel too good. It kind of feels very like stuffy and proper and mature, but not, yeah, not genuine. Is that salmon? Bumblebee sandwich, but it's like a box. It's not tuna, but it's supposed to be tuna. Five minutes. I guess this today will be short, but there's a lot, you know, that I recorded earlier. No, brother playing basketball. I played some basketball. I think that's the one day that I didn't record anything. It was pretty good for someone who never plays or does any sport or is at all athletic or even works out. Got a lot in, a lot of shots in. So pretty like, oh, maybe I should have been a basketball player. Maybe I should have played at least for fun. <sighs> Yeah. I'm also trying to say um less, even though I cut it out anyways. Feels cooler when I don't say it. But however, that's the fun that's back to the control thing. That when I I hold myself from saying um less words come to me. I feel more stuck. But it's not good to say um. So I don't really know what to do. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit worrier today. I started saying you know lately for some reason fact is that right now today i don't really have anything planned to say like i said i kind of decided to take a personal day off i want to also say that i am enjoying very much staying at home the pressure that it has taken 
off my shoulders. Let, let me tell you one thing. Going to an office makes me the least productive I can be. Being in an office, in the lighting, the seating, the people, the being watched, because we have actual cameras on us too, but just being watched even if you're not watched, even on the computers. I don't know if you know this, but you can be monitored on what you're doing on the computer. Even though these people, they don't even like, if you can go on any website you feel like it, you have just so many holes already in your security. But I am so unproductive. I get very sleepy when I'm in those circumstances and just don't want to work. I just don't have any energy to do anything. But since I've been home, one of the things has been, I just, we have this uh, Romanian word, psychic obosit. So that's like being tired, not psychically, but like mentally i guess tired but it's not to me it's not just mentally it's also emotionally in there as well i have been feeling a lot more human and a lot better a lot more awake and alive and everything since i've been home and thinking of working at home just seems incredibly perfect get paid for what i work not get paid for it. the time that i don't work you know there's ways lawyers have the clocking in stuff or whatever like there's ways to do that i would prefer being paid not less because i'm paid less than i should be paid but i would prefer to be paid at the same amount that i am paying be pay, being paid right now working the hours that i work just doing things I, oh my gosh oh my gosh i suck today oh i am so not on top of my game today even though i just did that whole thing about being in the right mindset and everything and i'm so not on top of the, my game today i'm just very upset at pine tree to be honest neni nishtita which is like not calm it's not not calm it's not agitated but just unsettled i think that's the name i definitely wonder how other people would act in my situation i wonder how other people would see things in my situation there are times this past specifically this past year where i thought my life was over i could not see anything past that moment from may to like august just a good chunk of i wouldn't even call it severe depression i was way gone beyond that i couldn't feel my life again I felt so much pressure. I think that's for another day to talk about. It was a very rough year last year. I felt a lot. Good is good and the bad is bad. All in one year. I will have to tell you that leaving my previous job was the best thing that I ever did. My self-esteem plummeted at that job. I felt the smallest that I ever felt. I appreciate some things from there. Time-wise, they were very fair. It was a flexible time schedule. Time schedule. It was a flexible schedule. I felt respected as far as that. I had autonomy in that sense. But the rest was not that. It was a job that was supposed to be for someone just out of college or in college, really. It wasn't anything for someone with degrees and with years of experience and things like that. It gave me stability, I guess. It was hard because I didn't know when I would be let go. Just like you kind of don't know anywhere in any job. And then when I put in my two weeks, because I found this other job, they looked at me like they never thought I would leave. I was just very surprised by that. I also discovered how people don't really see beyond their, their nose kind of thing. And I would tell them that they don't realize the knowledge that they have. Intrinsic knowledge, maybe? That they expect from me without the experience and without the training. And they're like, well, ask questions. And I'm like, I have to know something to ask something. <laughs> I can't ask what I don't know. And after I left, I even got some interviews beyond what I applied for and got. And everything kind of started kicking off. Yeah, but I think it's been an ongoing climbing back up type of thing. You can't really go right back to feeling confident. It's also something that I'm currently trying to figure out. You know, there's a, some pine tree sprinkled in there, some age sprinkled in there. And when I say age, it's more the relative age. It's not my specific age, but it's 
how many years I've tried and didn't get anywhere, didn't make it. Even though when you look back, you're like, oh, but you didn't really try, did you? It's easier said than done, right? So you still feel like you tried and you failed and it's just not meant to be kind of thing. But here I am and I'm sorry because I'm not on top of my game. I'm not in the best state of mind to make this video or any video right now. I just wanted to to you know keep with it and bring you something in the moment raw pure yeah also i have lately i have some weird random accents here and there for certain words <laughs> so expect more of that i guess right now everyone has complained that they're too long and i used to pretend to pretend to say well you're not a true friend if you won't sit through 46 minutes <laughs> of me talking because a lot of the times I like it I always wanted to make things shorter I think 30 minutes I think 15 minutes would be ideal but they go so fast <laughs> and these are a lot more reflective or whatever but I will try to get back to the more creative ones where it's like outlined and precise I know exactly what I want to say and I keep to the script that I write but I make a little script to make sure that I touch upon every point that I want to make but also not say too much and go off on tangents and blah 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 604 today has gone by fast i spend most of it here in the car but outside but overall today's emotion has been neutral i i do like challenging people i like making people think i like just poking them you know just once making them aware of something or bring their awareness kind of alive to be aware of something else i don't know you know we've been stuck inside indoors for two weeks now this is the second week and yet just yesterday i felt sort of claustrophobic to the idea of not being able to see him for at least two weeks and in a way even longer than that and then i started feeling like not good enough because because I'm scared to to see him when we see each other then we like pass it on to the other and we both live with family and you know I don't want to get neither family sick yeah like today not so much but yesterday for some reason and then also feeling like we talked more than we have talked in such a long time recently it was so weird I remember us talking about it a couple of, a couple of weeks in it's like it's too easy and of course, that's when it went downhill. Literally, that's when it went downhill. <laughs> Maybe it makes me sound so stupid. Just texted. He's a frog. I can't see it. But I don't know why. I also miss having my own dog. My whole family wants one except my stepfather. Not sure why. It's like this really heavy thing too. Our dog died three years ago. I've somehow like shut it down. I really miss having a dog and need a dog so badly. I forget what I was saying, but your temperature obviously went down or went up or whatever. My mom's a dog. I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see that either. She's a poodle. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to make this into a more organized effort, I guess. And to be more genuine, I'm very guarded right now. Can you feel it? Because I can feel it. Compared to if you look back uh, four years ago, whenever I was doing YouTube, I was just so the gajata, the Romanian word, just so free. And I was myself and no worries, but I didn't have any friends. At one point, I know I didn't have any of my friends that I had at that time. And if I did, like I didn't care, I'm getting there. So excuse, in the meantime, excuse my videos that are very long, are kind of all over the place, are not feeling as genuine and authentic and just explosive and intriguing or not intriguing, but um, like pulling you in and all that stuff. It's a process and I'm embracing it and I'm not gonna apologize for it because that is how I started my YouTube. I should watch my first ever YouTube video. Let's do that! Oh my gosh! I wonder if I... I don't think I can watch it on here. I have 27 subscribers. I used to have 12 the last time that I did anything. So I don't know who these 27 are, but... And then two years ago, my first mukbang. I found it! Alright, so my first ones were more like Lily Singh's like sort of video thing. Oh, the sound quality. Yeah. 
and like looking at each other. That is so bad. I don't remember it being that bad. I kind of like this. If it zooms. Oh, it focuses. I like this. I like this. It's colorful. It's my thing. We have Star Trek over here. Can you see? Can you see? Can I get closer? Can you see? Star Trek. Just random books. I'm going to put this side. Here you are. No. What if I do like both of these? Oh, yeah. And I'm also trying to figure out my personality and what I have to say and what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? I, I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know where to look. I'll just close this. Fog, blog, peace, love, and fashion. And this is all. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, welcome. It's my first start. 2016, New Year. Um, yeah. I, should I even say it on here? I said it on there. Maybe I should say it on here. Um, what is this doing? I'm so scattered brained. Oh. So I'll try to speak a little more up here <laughs> than down here because it hurts my voice. This is my new normal voice. I started doing it just for myself. I really felt a lot better. I felt more energy, more motivation. I kept giving myself pep talks, basically, because it started with Snapchat, with rants, trying to let everything out, trying to be not sad anymore. And a little mad. Made me angry sometimes when so things don't go as cringy. they I think should <laughs> change the world type of friends. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. And why aren't we better? I know in England this means something else, but this means peace in almost the rest of the world. Some of the world in the US. I have sworn sense. Thanks to Beyonce's lemonade. But yeah, I wanna see the first vlog. I think this is it. Wait, is it? This might what be is up with my eye. Oh, it's like I'm th turning like 80. Not even a year of being 30. Coughing in my lungs. Coughing in my lungs? What? <laughs> Hello. And I'll never have that. I prefer cleaning. I prefer everything else. But to hang out with you. Miss Pathetic. Oh my gosh, I just sent this to Pine Tree. I have this thing about like people when I was younger, they're like, I can't hang out, I can't play because my mom wants me to clean. And I was like, and he did that to me. He didn't do it exactly like that. He was very like, I don't want to do this, but I have to. And she would see this ghost and I, I wouldn't. So strange. Also, I was so thinking, oh gosh, I have to like do a video today. Oh my gosh, I have to do a video today. I don't know what to do it on. And the parody. Okay, I have to eat first. There's absolutely no order. No order. <laughs> my mom <laughs> trying to organize not, myself. I'm not supposed to be there. It's like teaching someone who's colorblind color. I like to do it by myself. But then she goes against my expressed desire to do it by myself. Like it's the end of the world. Fine, just a dead scene. Fine, just a dead scene. Fine, just a dead scene. shot of When you like distance yourself enough and you're like, you see things as they were. No, no. But that was kind of fun to go back. I had cut my hair because of that guy. When I heard my dog, oh my god, he's so cute. My little doggy. Oh. Seems like yesterday, but also so far away. <laughs> Me trying to dance BTS. Yeah, so there you go. I should go dance a little bit. Hey, a 3D video. I did. I the last time I did a 3D or not 3D, uh, 360 degree video was Fourth of July with Pine Tree and his brother and his brother's girlfriend were on this boat. 
I don't even know if I looked at the foot. I think I did, and I think I shared it with them. Maybe if you have those glasses, but it's not that perfect. But I know how good that makes me feel when I am go, 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 and I have like this very packed, tight schedule of filming this, doing that, you know, writing this parody. Like, I never felt better than when I was writing the parody because I literally, in like 24, 48 hours, I would find a topic, find a song, transform that song into a parody about that topic in Romanian I think most of the time I only did like two or three but and then film it by myself now I have pine tree that could help me not right now but kind of you know we don't have to touch or like be closer than six feet away we can meet in the park outside and just like shoot each other with the camera from far away I, I have not just him but you know I have people that could help me shoot and I also have less inhibitions now I've had since then I've put my grandparents to to shoot me with the camera the video that I did for his birthday for example they were a lot of help and it was so funny it was, <laughs> I haven't laughed like that since I think that's what I want to talk about tomorrow. How far I've come along as an inspiration to how far I've yet to go. There you go. That's the topic for tomorrow. I'm already getting so excited, honestly. I'm like getting emotionally excited because I have my first topic and I have my first thing to plan. And you have no idea how happy that makes me feel. That's like so orgasmic. <laughs> but I'm kind of serious at the same time. Like, it's just like, oh my gosh, it takes my breath away. Oh, I love that so much. I love planning and just doing it. Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ah, so cool. I can't wait. Oh, all the stuff that I was like uh, frustrated and annoyed earlier, it's all kind of like gone away and I'm just so excited. Oh, I can feel the light behind my eyes. Maybe it hasn't reached my eyes yet. But tomorrow, I think you will see it. Have a temperature. Have a great day. Bye. Peace, loving, and bashing. You know, bye. That was a little too aggressive. So let me say that again. Have a great day. Peace, loving, and bashing. You know. Y'all. Annyeong kikaseyo. Annyeong kikaseyo. Tsai jen. Bye bye. Pekurin. Pa matane jane. Hasta luego.